Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and we are in the kitchen. So right now, I have some chicken. Uh, I am deathly afraid of undercooking chicken. So no matter what I do to it, before I do anything to it, I try to boil it, make sure that it's pretty well done in that manner uh, before I even do anything with it. But uh, it's one good sized chicken breast cut into slices. I know my wife always tells me people like seeing cutting, the cutting of these objects, but I didn't do it. Uh, well, I did cut it, I just didn't film it. So uh, take my word for it, I cut them. So along with the chicken, I have some carrots, some onions, and some potatoes. Uh, I do have some Dollar Tree chicken flavoring. I'm going to add a little bit of that. And here are the onions that I dehydrated. So we're going to put a little bit of dehydrated onion mix that's sprinkled with some garlic pepper. So we're going to go ahead and mix all of that. And we are going to cauldron cook. Toil, toil. Bubble, trouble, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so what we're going to do is the oven is set at 350 and uh, I'm going to dump all of these ingredients into the cauldron and most people call this a Dutch oven uh, and it's going into the oven at 350 degrees for however long it takes and <clears throat> we're just going to sit it in there and let it uh, cook up <clears throat> And this is actually the first time that I've actually ever used this as a actual kitchen cook cookery type item. It, it literally has been used as a cauldron since I purchased it. So let's get this going. All right, so the chicken, I'm just gonna let it keep cooking until I get everything in there. First thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle in some of that flavoring. That'll be enough. I am going to put a couple pinches of the onion. Just like so. <clears throat> and at this point I'm going to set it in the oven for... Nah, I don't need to do that. I was going to sit it in the oven and let the water heat up a little bit, but I don't need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and dump the onions in there. Oh, that looks good. Just drain off some of the water on these potatoes. Just put the potatoes in there. Carrots. And dump off some of this water. And we will put the chicken in there. Just like so. And the oven is on, so let's get that set up and let's get it in the oven. <clears throat> so we will put the lid on that bad boy. And we will There we go. Get that in the oven. I'm gonna close it up. Good to go. It's been in for an hour. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we got. heavy and 
Nice. Alrighty, let's see here. Stir this about a bit. Let's grab up a potato. We'll grab that one. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Good to go. Let's go ahead and grab up a carrot just to make sure. Oh yeah. Alright. Fantastic. So it cooked for an hour. some pepper add some salt stir that in there a little bit this is a tasty looking cauldron meal and then well, there's a piece of chicken I cut them lengthwise like that looking good all right let's plate this up and give it a little taste Michelle's uh, not feeling well so she's asleep right now so it's just me so I am I made sure also that I grabbed several of these onions because Michelle's really not fond of onion anyway. I'm going to cut one of these potatoes in half. There we go. Let's try a, a piece of carrot here with onion. Mmm. Really good. Piece of potato. tastes like a piece of potato and this chicken let's get a piece of chicken here now again I didn't over flavor anything uh, I didn't season the chicken before I put it into the stew uh, I didn't want to over season anything so it's just pretty much plain old chicken with a little bit of the Dollar Tree chicken broth or the chicken uh, bouillon type stuff uh, a little bit of the onions that uh, I dehydrated myself and then at the end a little salt and pepper that's that's all the seasoning I put in it mm. Mm. really good it's really good now I would say that I think next time I think I'll season the chicken a little more before I put it into the stew. But other than that, it's a really nice, uh, easy, simple cauldron meal. Mm. So thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. And enjoy the outdoors, even if it's your own backyard. And this would be good to do at a campfire too. Uh, which we do plan on having a, a campfire here soon. So uh, this is something that is going to get cooked probably at a, at a, uh, a campfire soon.